Hey beauty skeptics, we're making custom lip colors with eyeshadow. You're watching Makeup Mythbusters. Here we put crazy makeup tips to the real test. Hey guys, it's Meg. And I'm Carrie Rad back again. So today we're doing like an interesting DIY slash myth. And the ways kind of vary, but we kind of picked two main ways that we're gonna try out. So you can either create a bomb from the eyeshadow or you could paint it right onto your lips. Okay, so I'm gonna be trying the method where I just make a little lip balm in a mixture and then put it on my lips. And I'm going to try to put it just directly onto my lips. I hope this works because this is really cool. Do you realize you could make any shade of lipstick? You could just mix a bunch of like eyeshadows together. We could be artists. Yeah. Creating our own colors onto our lips. Exactly. Or if you just have eyeshadows you don't really use anyway. Exactly, you can mix them together, recycle. Mm -hmm. Okay, are you ready to get into this? I'm ready. Me too. So I'm gonna start making my little mixture here. I'm gonna take that purple eyeshadow and scrape it into the tub. I feel like I probably wouldn't put this color on my eye anyway, so this is perfect. I feel like this is gonna be too light, so I'm gonna get some darker colors up in there too. Gonna add some lac in there. Going dark. I think this is gonna look cool, so let's see. I'm just gonna mix the powder together first and see what kind of shade I came up with. Almost ready, guys. It's just I'm so excited about the options I have, so I'm gonna add a little bit of pink just so it doesn't come off too blue now that I've added black. When I have like 12 eyeshadows in front of me, it's really hard not to like want to mix them all together. Three is restraining myself. Okay, we're going for some like abnormal colors today, maybe something a little more like dramatic or extreme, so I've chosen purple. Okay, so now I'm just gonna put some Vaseline in. It's gonna be like a process to mix it because Vaseline's like pretty thick and then this is also another solid, so it's just gonna take some time, but if I just keep mixing, good thing will happen. All right, now I'm going to be dipping my finger into some Vaseline and just putting it directly onto my lips. They say that you need to moisturize them very well, make them very glossy first before you start adding the eyeshadow to your lips. You can use chapstick or probably even like a lip gloss if you want to, but Vaseline is just really nice because it's very moisturizing. Cool, I'm gonna put a bit more Vaseline and keep going. You have a good consistency going on. Yeah, I think it's pretty good. Yep. And the good thing about this too is like, I don't need to stick to this. Like if I see it's a little too dark, hey, I am allowed to add some more pink, which I'm gonna do right now. Can you tell I really want this one to work? The more Vaseline you add, the more mistakes you can make. It's like much more forgiving because it's gonna be like a less concentrated little mixture. Cool, I think I'm ready. All right, so I'm gonna go for like an orangey pinkish red color. And so first off, I'm going to start with this orangey color. It's like an orangey red and I'm just going to rub my finger around in the eyeshadow and put it directly onto my lips. And it's actually going on oh my really God. nicely. Oh my God, oh my God, what even? Here, you, this is, it looks really good. I'm trying, I'm trying. See that method scares me, it seems like winging it kind Sometimes of. when you're looking at a gorgeous eyeshadow and you really want it on your lips, you just gotta dip your finger in and put a little, you know, it happens. <laughs> it's going on really, really well and it's pretty impressive and I think I'm gonna try to do a little bit of this pinky color. So it actually feels really good, it turns the eyeshadow right into like a bomb. And the color is like, that's probably my favorite lip color, so like that is also like, everything just looks really perfect about that. Cool. That looks easy. So Carrie's worked really well. I'm gonna start applying mine. So I have a little brush here, I have my little mixture. Let's do this. So mine's a very like dramatic purple color, but I like that. Okay, not that dramatic apparently. <laughs> Your application process is a lot neater than mine because you don't end up with a red finger. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah, it's going on like cheap lip gloss, like kind of like doesn't have much pigment to it, but I guess that's better because like then I can't mess it up. Okay. But it seems like when you mix it with the Vaseline in the container, it's a bit more sheer than like mm -hmm. putting it directly on. It looks like you had a purple popsicle. Yeah, <laughs> looks like I was eating purple candy. It just takes a little more work. It's like, if you really have a color that you can't find as a lipstick, then I would try it. It just takes more time because it, you're, you're gonna have to like apply it slower and just like really mix it in well. 
So yeah, I think hers turned out really well, especially because I feel like that color is such a good lip color. And this is like, this is, uh, it's okay. I think it's more of like a statement. Like you're, you're making a statement with that purple lip. You're like, Thanks. I'm going grunge today. Yeah, it's very grunge. I would do this again. I was kind of freaked out by that method that was just like winging it to me, but it ended up working a lot better than this one. I was freaked out by this method too. To begin with, I was like, oh my. But the only thing that's a drawback is that your finger ends up looking like this. Her method, Megan's method, was a lot better because you can save this. So as with everything in life, there are pros and cons to this myth, but you should totally try it and then leave us a comment below. Click here to watch Carrie and I try out a DIY lip plumper with cayenne pepper. And click here to watch Meg and I acting on the Awesomeness TV series Royal Crush. Let us know how eyeshadow works as lipstick for you guys. And let us know in the comments some tips on how you did it. And also, what's your favorite lip product? Don't forget to subscribe to Awesomeness TV. And don't forget to subscribe to our channels. They're linked down below. Tag myths that you want to see with the hashtag Makeup Mythbusters. So that's it. We'll see you guys later. Bye. Oh, okay. Is that abnormal? <laughs> it's a little dark. <laughs> I've just been told my color is a little abnormal. No, okay. <laughs>